Welcome to RamblinRec.com. Here for Senior Day, it seems uh, only appropriate we visit with the most senior of the seniors, and that would be Roddy Jones, of course. Um, if I were to say something about the Jacksonville State game in 2009, what does that mean? Uh, should have played. <laughs> because according to the, the information, Saturday, you're going to set a record. Nobody in the history of the school has ever started 51 games. That's 119 years of football, give or take 75 guys a year. You do the math, that's a really big number. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 51 out of 52, <laughs> <laughs> right? Because you hurt your wrist yep. and could not, did not play in week one of 09. Right. Um, that week, I had, <laughs> I'd, I'd just gotten uh, the pins out of my wrist. <laughs> I was in a cast. I, I'd had one day of contact. And you were willing to play. I was ready to go. <laughs> I was ready to go. Um, I probably wasn't in game shape. You know, yeah. it, it was it was the best decision for the team. And uh, we played Clemson that next Thursday. So um, sat down with coach, and we just decided that I'd go ahead and get ready for the Clemson game. Um, this is unbelievable. It, it, it's pretty unbelievable for me too to think that, uh, you know, I, I'll be at the top of a list that that. You know, of all the great players that have come through here, um, mm -hmm. I, I've, I've been very fortunate, been very blessed to, to not have any serious injuries and uh, very thankful for the opportunity that Coach Johnson gave me as a 19-year-old as a redshirt freshman. Okay. Now, sir, you obviously know just by the sheer numbers that the other guys on the list are going to be of recent history because, you know, back in the day they played 10, then they played 11. We've, we haven't only been playing 12 regular mm -hmm. season games for a handful of years and then Boy, the ACC championship game comes in handy in this oh, list. Oh, yes, yeah, definitely. Uh, Ricardo Wimbush, you're tied with him going into Saturday. 50 games, 1999 to 2002. Reggie Ball, 49. Andrew Gardner, mm -hmm. 48 games. What does longevity mean to Roddy Jones? Uh, I think it means a lot. You know, I, I've always looked at myself as a guy who's dependable, who, who will show up every day and go to work. And, and I think that uh, – you know, my ability to do that over my career here is something I'm very proud of, to, to go to work every Saturday and be there as someone that, that uh, not only the coaches but my teammates can count on to, to show up every week and, and play hard. Do you think about that while it's happening? No, definitely not. Because, that's, it's, you know, uh, as, a, as a player on this team, you want to play in every game. Mm -hmm. um, and then once you become a starter, it's your job to go out there and play every week and, and get healthy when you're banged up and, and, and do the little things to get yourself ready to play. So uh, it's just, I was, in my opinion, I was just doing my job for the past, uh, past four years. Um, three touchdowns, rushing three touchdowns, receiving, four catches, averaging 29 yards, 41 carries, averaging nine. Statistically, not in terms of yardage, but per catch, per carry, it's your best season ever. Does it feel like your best season so far? Um, I think so, and, and it's just for a number of reasons, uh, other than the, the, the receptions and the, and, the, and the rushes, but also blocking and, and understanding what's going on. Um, I, I feel like I've been a lot more mentally on top of things this year, which is, I guess it's just, you know, being the old guy and, <laughs> and, and being around coach uh, and uh, being able to help Tevin out, uh, I think uh, it helps a lot too. What has, um, what's this year going to mean to you? Do you know what it's going to mean to you? I mean, have you thought about what being a senior and being a captain and, and, well, obviously being a captain at Georgia Tech's a whole different deal anyway, but being a senior and being a captain, can you quantify it yet? I don't think so. You know, I, I, when you asked me that question, I tried to start to think of what it means to me, and, and I, it obviously means a lot, but I, I don't think I really know how much. Um, I've, I've greatly enjoyed my time here. Um, I. I'm very appreciative to all the all the fans and, and the, the supporters that we've had. I'm appreciative of the coaches um, and, and the guys that I play with. I play with a lot of great guys, and, and just being at Georgia Tech, I've had the opportunity to, to come in contact with so many great people and, and meet so many different kinds of people that uh, you know I've really really grown up a lot since I've been here. So I definitely appreciate it, and it means a lot. But this week is different. Yeah, definitely. it's not just your final game; it's the rival. Um, and you know a lot of these guys, don't you? That, I, well, not as many as I used to. Because <laughs> well, you're older now? Exactly, because a lot, a lot of them have moved on. Um, <laughs> but I, I still know a good number. And, and you know, with the, the amount of guys that they have coming out of the state of Georgia, you still hear about a lot of guys who end up going there. 
Um, so yeah, I, I still know my fair share, and it's 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 always good to, to talk to him during the season and this week. What should we know about the relationship between the guys playing Saturday and how they know each other, and and what that means when you guys go out on that field over there? I mean. What do we need to know about the fact that you know those guys and that y'all talk during the course of the year? Or, heck, some of you might be really good friends for all I know. Uh, because I don't think fans, media, people like that actually understand, you know, the relationship and to that degree, I guess, the respect y'all have for each other. Uh, well, first off, there's a great deal of respect. You know, we know uh, what the student athlete life is like and, and, and how it can be trying at times. Um, so when, when they're going through struggles or we're going through struggles, we're there to, to kind of support each other. Uh, but the relationships, most of them go back a long way. You know, mm -hmm. we didn't just meet when we got to college. And, and you know, uh, the guys that I know went to Georgia, went to Georgia Tech. Like, um, Israel Troop is, is, a, is a good friend of mine. And I've known him for, for a number of years through baseball, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, we met on the baseball field and, and kind of kept in contact and played an all-star game um, uh, against each other, actually, but, but kept in contact there, too. And then he ends up going to Georgia and I end up going, coming to Tech. Uh, and, and we've kept in contact through through college, so uh, the relationship goes back a long way. Um, and you know, in uh, every week except for this one, we're, we're really there to, to to help each other and support each other. And, and uh, you know, off the field, we're we're, we're good friends. And, and it's just like just like hanging out with any of your boys, no matter what school. Um, no matter what happens Saturday or what happens in the next five or ten years, you're always going to be a big part of this rivalry because of 2008. Did life change for you? <laughs> After 2008 at Georgia? Um, I, I'd like to say it didn't, but it, it definitely did. I, I guess in the, uh, in the, uh, I, uh, the notoriety amongst fans, probably. Yeah. Um, and that, that's what this game means to people. You know, it's a, it's a huge game. And if you end up having a, a, a big moment like I was fortunate enough to have, um, people remember that stuff. So, uh, you know, it, it was... I just like to say I was in the right place at the right time, um, but and Josh pitched it to me. And Josh pitched it to me, <laughs> and, and um, you know I I need to go thank Nesbitt for pitching that ball because it was kind of it was kind of great. He could have kept it or pitched it, but he, he ended up pitching it, and and uh, you know I was just fortunate enough to to make a play, and um, so it, it it's a huge game that means a lot to everybody, and that obviously meant a lot to to my career. Um, you thought about playing out here for the last time? <laughs> yeah, I definitely have. Uh, and, Who's and thought about it more, your mom and dad or you? My dad, definitely, <laughs> <laughs> definitely, definitely. You know, people people have asked me, you know, are you going to get emotional on Saturday? I was like, no, but my dad definitely will be. <laughs> my mom would be fine probably. You know, she might get a little emotional, but she won't show up. My dad, he might be boohooing. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I know he's going to see this, so he'll, he'll get on me for telling you that. Um, at some point this week, do you or one of your fellow captains need to say anything, or is it pretty understood? It's pretty understood, you know. Um, it'll it'll probably be little things over the course of the week uh, that we say. Um, you know, we might have have a guy stand up as we get close to the game. It just depends on, on how the week goes. But I think guys understand. I think guys understand what this what this game means to the tech community mm -hmm. um, and, and what it means to us. You know, it's it's a it's a big game for us. It, it's the next game. Um, and it's here in our stadium, and especially for the seniors, it's our last time in this stadium. So uh, it's, it's definitely going to mean a lot, and the fact that it's against Georgia, is, it's, it's only fitting. Is the 10-win thing, is that, a, is that on the mind? Definitely, definitely. Um, there aren't too many teams who've won 10, win, who, who've won 10 games, right? Uh, especially in recent memory at, at Tech. But um, it, for us to be able to do that and to be able to have that on our, on our resume, for this year, it, it, it'll be a big thing for this team, and it'll be a big thing uh, for our seniors to go out as a 10-win as a team. Thanks, as always, to Roddy Jones. This is RamblinWreck.com.